we found out that we were having um, uh, triplets, uh, two identical boys and a baby girl. It was amazing <laughs> to know that I was pregnant, very excited, um, you know, just had a lot of dreams about it, a lot of d hopes and dreams about having children. During my pregnancy, everything was perfect. Um, you know, I didn't have any morning sickness. I was in great health, um, you know, and so had carrying triplets and uh, not having that many symptoms uh, was amazing. We had an ultrasound appointment um, at the start of uh, 23rd week or at the, at the end of the 23rd week. The doctors had advised um, her to take some steroid shots just to help with the baby's lung development. And at that point, um, she got the steroid shot, and then Friday in the evening, she started going, started having contractions. The events just turned suddenly in such a manner that uh, she ended up going into preterm labor and delivering all the three babies. It was very scary. It was probably the scariest moment in my life ever. Baby A um, was absolutely fine when we saw him. He was, uh, he was very small, but uh, he, looked, he looked fine. Uh, he looked in decent shape for 23 weeks. Our baby B um, had uh, lung, extreme lung prematurity and passed away at day three. Losing one son was, um, was traumatic enough. We knew that things were not looking up for us because of the extreme prematurity, but we also at the same time had to deal with um, the baby's lives that were, uh, that were alive and at the same time um, manage the death of our child. Making funeral arrangements and making burial arrangements and then having to, uh, once we finished that, we had to come back to the hospital within an hour's time. And then five days later when our baby, our daughter passed away, we had to go through the same process. We decided our firstborn, he would be named Vunch. Um, there was a special meaning to that um, because um, the Vunch name means uh, new generation. Some days are good days and some days are not so good, but it, it's really being patient and, you know, being able to say that uh, we have professionals here to take care of him, um, he's in best hands. We've been extremely, extremely fortunate that we are in Nationwide Children's Hospital today. Um, the nurses, the nurses, nurse practitioners and all the doctors, all the physicians on call have been extremely, extremely supportive. We've asked a lot of questions to them and their answers have been a very research focused. Uh, X number of babies have gone through um, these issues and Y number of babies have had this recovery um, success rate. And when we listen to those kind of questions and answers, I think it has given us a lot of hope that yes, this research that we do was, and our baby, whatever he's going to, uh, through is just gonna contribute towards that research. And having gone through what we went through with losing two children, I thought that was one of the best we, best things that we could do as parents, um, involve ourselves with the research and um, you know just, just help in any way, form or fashion that we could. We would definitely urge a lot of parents to um, invest in this. Um, and if they've gone through the experience that we've gone through with extreme prematurity, um, and, and if any parent has lost a child or children, we definitely would urge them to go forward with this research. I think this, is, this research is a step in the right direction and I just feel that it will at some point give answers to some of the long outstanding questions that have been out there regarding prematurity.